Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Jing Bao Chen, or it's hard to pronounce, so just call me Jing Bao. And um, I'm currently living and working in Washington, D.C. Uh, as a consultant for the USDA Graduate School. Uh, right now, it's called the Graduate School USA. I'm working, I'm working for their International Institute. And uh, I went to VS ALC, American Language and Culture Program, in 2005 as a delegate from National Taiwan University. So I'm from Taipei, Taiwan. And according to Dwight, um, the ALC was established in uh, 1977, and mainly for Japanese students from the beginning, but later like including, uh, including more uh, people from Taiwan or Korea, as far as I know. So before I start my talk today, I'd like to thank VIA for organizing these events and uh, having me as one of the speakers uh, to share how the VIA's program has changed my life since 2005, well, that's eight years ago, and its impact on my career in international exchange, uh, which is the topic I'm going to talk about today. Eight years ago in the summer of 2005, uh, I gave my first English presentation during the ALC's uh, language classes. That's the first serious uh, English presentation in my life. Uh, I was very nervous, of course. I'm still very nervous right now. <laughs> and I remember I ran out the time in the presentation. Uh, so I didn't get A <laughs> in my class for the, for the ALC class. But eight years later, I come back to this campus and I would like to um, I would, like, I, would, I would say this is the test to ev evaluate uh, my presentation skills. Uh, <laughs> since 2005, whether I ha have improved a lot. I think I have improved a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I will make sure that I finish my presentation in 10 minutes, hopefully. <laughs> okay, besides the first English presentation, uh, AOC is also my first um, international exchange program of its kind um, in my life. During that month, I learned a lot from the, from, the, from the faculty and the students from Stanford University, KO University from Japan, Seoul University, and my university, National Taiwan University, and had a very unforgettable and rewarding experience uh, because I was fascinated by this kind of international setting. Um, um, I decided to actively engage in international exchange programs as many as possible in the following years after uh, AOC. So now I'd like to uh, break it down to share what the LC uh, impacts are to my life in five uh, parts. First of all, uh, volunteer experience, VIA, volunteer in Asia, volunteer as, a well, I'm Asian, so <laughs> I'm from Asia, volunteer from Asia, maybe. Uh, I did volunteer uh, in the U U United States uh, in this Bay, uh, Bay Area. And during the ALC program, we had a lot of uh, volunteer opportunities in the San Francisco yeah, Bay Area. And one day, we were helping out fruit picking for the local community. Uh, we have done incredible volunteer jobs. That's why I wear I wore that shirt, <laughs> Mr. Incredible. Yep. <laughs> Inspired by our volunteer uh, experience in the United States. Now it's time to pivot Asia. <laughs> I continue to be a volunteer uh, in Asia. In 2007, uh, I went to Qinghai province in Western China to help teaching, uh, basically to share how we learn English because as like ethnic Chinese, so we know how difficult it is to, to study English and to speak out. Um, and in the same year, I volunteer uh, for the World Vision um, Music Camp in Taiwan and designing a series of activities for the Aboriginal children uh, in Taiwan who want to learn, wanted to learn the music but uh, didn't have much access to. And second of all is the in-class experience. As you can tell, we were having a lot of fun with the two, uh, in with the two instructors. Maybe they're, I, think, I don't think they're here today, but uh, Drew and uh, Adams. And while we were smiling and posturing, um, we also started to build our language and uh, research skills. So in 2005, I presented my first English paper. The topic was, uh, is, or was, women in the US politics. Very interesting. 
uh, over the over the past the uh, the past eight years, I have continued to improve my English language skills. So and now, I can stand here, <laughs> or I can say that I can make a public speech with confidence. Uh, for example, I was one of the presenters for the 2012 um, Taiwan presidential election um, in one of the uh, lunch seminars and at Johns Hopkins size. And uh, thirdly, I was well taken care of. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, thirdly, yeah, I was well taken care uh, of by the staff like Tina and Kim in the LC program. Uh, with their help, we successfully accomplished uh, the LC program. And eight years later, I took care of groups of government officials from Taiwan, uh, covering sightseeing in Great Falls uh, National Park, in Virginia, and. Uh, also covering transportation, arranging cultural events, etc. So, I think it's part of the inspiration from uh, via uh, from ALC that I got, and these uh, the staff are my role models. So, VIA also has impacts on my current job. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm working for a graduate school, USA uh, International Institute. So, promoting international exchange uh, by arranging meetings with congressional committees in the Capitol Hill, or uh, US government agency like, like uh, Department of Labor, FDIC, or inviting speakers from think tanks uh, like CSIS. I was an uh, intern before, by the way, uh, at CSIS. And I think my current job with the Graduate School USA shares the same goal with the VIA, or ALC, uh, which is to promote mutual understandings and to build uh, long-term relationships or friendships uh, among people from different countries. Lastly, uh, ALC has helped me to conquer the stage fright. Yeah, so, um, okay, yeah, the, the, the picture on the left was provide, uh, performed by the uh, staff of, from Stanford, and uh, I forgot what, the, what they were performing, actually. <laughs> the Japanese anime, yeah. But uh, I remember the confidence they had on the stage. Uh, that's the only thing I remember. And seven years later, I was on this talent show at Johns Hopkins size. Uh, the song is a very popular a YouTube song called Friday, uh, <laughs> Rebecca Black's Friday, and a very funny song. And my American friend uh, sang it in Chinese, Mandarin, and I sang it in English. And <laughs> very good uh, combination, and it become a I think in size, Johns Hopkins size history is the be one of the best performances <laughs> seen. <laughs> if you want to see the video, I will, please let me know. Okay. I'll see. <laughs> one thing I found a group of L L uh, ALC is very powerful is that the game is around the globe. Uh, as the world keeps spinning around, spinning around, sometimes our lives cross like uh, we would like them to. The first person I'd like to talk about is Mr. Koji Furukawa from uh, Keio University. I mentioned about him not only because he kindly offered to help me carry my heavy luggage to the dorm when the NTU, uh, Taiwan University uh, students arrive in the campus, but also um, because we went to Burma program, study program with Dwight uh, in the following year, in 2006. And we had a, a lot of discussion of the, about the uh, political and uh, economic development of the country in the uh, underground. So it's very good experience. And uh, the second person is Hiroko Yamazaki. She's also a delegate from Keio University. And two years after the ALC program, we uh, coincident uh, what is a coincident uh, that um, we joined the same capital encounter program in Washington D.C. Uh, we literally started screaming. Uh, to each other uh, for, for more than one minute. I, I remember <laughs> when we saw each other in Washington, D.C., we didn't know e uh, that we were com going to that program. And uh, in that program, there were only ten, uh, ten students, but uh, two out of ten are ALC alum. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so in addition to the students, our ALC uh, speakers play big roles, too, in this world. The expert of democratization theory, Professor Larry Diamond from Stanford University, gave us a speech in 2005 uh, talking about the war in Iraq and touched upon a bit on the cross trade relations, China Taiwan relations. And I asked him one question whether he thinks uh, China will become more and more democratic when the economy is growing. 
uh, as modernization theorists claim, um, even though I forgot what he, he said, uh, the, the answer. <laughs> but he said, wow, it's a great question. Uh, yes, yeah, very, <laughs> very encouraging. So yeah, I, so that's, yeah, I feel like, wow, I ask, I'm a good student. I, uh, <laughs> Usually students from Asia like, tend to be, be quiet. That's a cultural difference. But after that, I feel like I was encouraged by him. That's, so in 2012, uh, at Brookings Institute, I saw him again. I say hi, he doesn't remember me, of course. But <laughs> he talked talk about the uh, uh, public faith in democracy in Taiwan. So very interesting topic. Sorry, lastly, uh, of course, the chief of LCN, uh, Dwight Clark, uh, Mr. Dwight Clark, the first breakfast we were sitting next to each other and I was very lucky and we talked about our backgrounds and become became very good friends uh, from that day and in 2006 I joined his Burma program and discovered uh, discovering this mysterious uh, country in the Southeast Asia uh, inspired by his in his passion about the country and the region I introduced the program to the National Taiwan University so I'm glad there are more and more people uh, students from Taiwan because we are uh, kind of, we have limited international space, so I think it's a good way to, through the NGO that we bring more people to become aware of the, the issues, especially the rising, probably the rising star Burma in the region. So, and there, I still remember during his welcome speech, Dwight told us that the ALC program is a life-changing experience. Of course, it totally changed my life. And if I hadn't joined the event, I <laughs> I wouldn't have the colorful life international exchange from 2005 until now. <laughs> this proves one thing that we spoke a lot. Seriously, we, I didn't make it. <laughs> I mean, make it up. May, uh, make it up. We spoke a lot during our LC program, which is no LC, no life. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. And uh, this is my house in Taipei. Dwight was there. And uh, if you haven't been to Taipei, welcome to my home. And uh, I'll, yeah, I'll show you around. And um, Thank you, Shishe. Arigatou gozaimasu. Kamsamida, gracias. Open cup.